What's going on guys, T Torres back here for another video. So another video in preparation for us and the crew to get, get ready to go to the uh, Barber Small Bore event, which is June 9th, 10th and 11th down there in Birmingham, Leeds, Alabama at the Barber, Barber Motorsports Museum. We're gonna be installing the KLX DRZ 110 handlebars along with some new uh, Renthal grips and then the man in the box uh, levers that they have made as well. And if you're interested in any of these products, I have a link down in the description that'll take you straight to the man in the box website so you guys can purchase these, uh, these same orders. So it looks like, um, obviously we're gonna loosen these four bolts uh, off the handlebars, get these loose, loosen this stuff off and uh, get everything kind of laid over, get the factory bars off and then uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so to get you guys caught up, in order to take this uh, throttle tube off here, you have two, uh, what are these, eight mils? Did you take these off? Uh, yeah, those are uh, 10 mils. 10 mils here, and then you have two screws for the ignition. There, and then there's two screws for the throttle cable as well. Yep, and then as you can see, the mirror and the brake lever is now off. So I'm not gonna keep the uh, factory bars for resale. So what we did, I just took a razor blade, cut the handle off and was able to get the, uh, the choke. Yeah, it's the, the, the lever for the choke. Yeah. And then all this and other stuff. To take this off, uh, if you notice on the bottom, it doesn't clamshell apart, it actually clamps down. So the easiest way is gonna be undo the four bolts for the handlebar and then just slide the handlebars off of it because you don't have enough real estate with the cable there. Yeah, and then I imagine these are probably what, 10 mils as well? Yep. So you got four 10 millimeter bolts here that you need to, uh, to loosen up as well. All right, got the four bolts off. Go ahead and remove them bad boys. Also, just so y'all are aware, there is a little cable guide bracket that sits on top. So just lift that up, put your tops off, and then give her a little wiggle. And pull off, and then as I was saying, literally take this and then just slide the handle. Slide off. that section off. Yeah. Perfect. And then when you put these on the new handlebars, obviously you have to slide this on the handlebars before you actually put the handlebars in the mount. That didn't take. That was probably what less than ten minutes. Yeah. That wasn't uh that wasn't long at all. Okay, go ahead and see what we got here. We'll cut that off in a minute. Oh yeah, we'll just cut it off in a minute. First step. Slide that bad boy back on. We're gonna be pros at swapping bars out on stuff. Try Next. To do it without scratching up your new bars. Yeah, it'd be alright. Next we got we definitely gotta get the Grom done too. Alright, so this is temporarily uh, how the bars look. We got these tightened down just a little bit, but they're still Obviously, we're going to get them adjusted and seated uh, how we want to. Now we're going to work on on the left side uh, where the choke is uh, and the um, parking brake lever as well. All right, go ahead. Keep recording. All right, guys. So pretty much um, when you're going to put these on new bars, if you're using all the same stock hardware, stock hardware um, Honda loves to put these uh, little pins and drill holes inside their stock handlebars. I'll show you. Uh, so as you can see, they like to put these little holes so your stuff doesn't rotate around. To get them out, uh, easiest way is to take a Dremel with a just a standard standing wheel on them. And then, so you have one on your high, high low beam right here in this hole. And if you start grinding it down, You'll notice the glue will start actually pushing the pin out and then you can literally once it gets warm enough just drop it and fall out as careful it's probably hot for example that's the pin right there and you can see all the melted plastic it's still really hot <laughs> yeah then uh, there's one on the right side and then you'll have one on your start stop switch uh, this one is plastic so it's super easy to undo and then the final one is on this clamshell for the throttle cable and this one was a metal rod as well you heat it up with the uh, sanding wheel and it will just fall right out so just to get you guys caught up we got the bars tightened down exactly how we want them now these bars do sit a little bit lower but i will say that i definitely like the uh 
the riding stance and these uh, Renthal grips feel really, uh, really, really good. We may need to, there we go, it's fine. Yeah, I think that those feel really good. And uh, what we're gonna do is now we're gonna change out the uh, factory brake lever with the man in the box uh, lever, as well as the factory uh, parking brake lever uh, that man in the box also uh, makes. All right, so one of the main pieces uh, to the puzzle whenever you're doing the brake lever, you have a Phillips set up top here, pretty long, or excuse me, long flathead. Let me see if I can get it right there. And then what Connor has in his hand is a little spring release that allows the brake uh, to sling back forward. So he's gonna put the washer on first. Yep, so it goes washer, then spring, then sleeve goes, and the sleeve just literally slides up inside the washer. So you could put the sleeve of that on either. And then washer, nut. So roughly should be put on in this order. Yep, just like that. And then we maybe got five minutes or less in swapping out this uh, brake lever. It's not just, not too hard at all. It's dumb. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, over-engineered way too long, but we're getting her done and then we'll move on to the, uh, to the parking brake lever, which is, I think is dumb as well. All right, so the parking brake lever is similar to the actual uh, brake lever. It has uh, the spring, washer, or is it the, the nut? What? Sorry. The sp it goes spring. It goes washer, spring, cylinder, just keeps the spring in the center where it's supposed to be. And then, and then the, the nut. Washer. No. Washer and then nut, okay. Yeah, exact same way as the other side. Exact same combination. And all we did whenever we took it off, I just held this in to give him a little bit of slack up there on the front and that's pretty much it. Yep. Got her done. This one's good to go. All right, so we got everything, everything finished, everything dialed in. Let the bike get warmed up, and I, I'm gonna go for a uh, go for a ride and see how it does. But I will tell you, like like I mentioned earlier, <clears throat> this riding position feels so so much better. I don't know why I did do this a long time ago. Now, now we definitely got to do this uh, uh, for the Grom over there in the corner. But the handlebars and the the Renthal grips feel feel good. Let's see if we can get a little flame on a little flame on the camera. There we go. All right, so I just got done going for a little uh, five, maybe 10 minute cruise on the bike. And uh, like I mentioned in the previous clip, I do not know why I didn't get these uh, handlebars a lot sooner. Uh, only thing I gotta do is to get back, get back here and adjust my mirror. So like, uh, like I mentioned, if you guys are interested in getting these KLX uh, 110, the DRZ 110 bars, along with these uh, man in the box handles, these levers. I will have a link down in the description as well. Uh, if you're interested, it'll take you uh, straight to the website and you guys can go get them. Don't forget June 9th, 10th, and 11th, a uh, barber small bore event. I'll be there along with Connor and a couple other boys. Uh, gonna be taking hopefully the Grom, the Monkey, and the Navi, and maybe another uh, bike build that I have coming in the future. Hopefully we'll get that done in the next month or two. And we have some big changes coming for the, uh, coming for the monkey as well. We'll leave that under wraps and then I have another bike that I'm building kind of behind the scenes. And uh, I'll do a three day build series on it. Whenever the time comes, I'll announce that to you guys. But anyways, Man in Box, I know you guys are watching. Thanks again for making some awesome products and uh, supplying me with the bars and the, uh, the awesome levers. I do appreciate that. And um, Connor, thanks for helping me again, bud. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.